The next founder I would like to welcome to the stage is Ez Tahoon, the CEO of Sapienta. Uh, good evening, guys. My name is Ez, and um, a few years back, I looked like this. I remember my uh, identity got stolen, and a few loans had been taken out of my name, and my credit score just dropped like 100 points in a matter of like a few days. It was an absolutely terrible time. I remember I dreaded reading my emails, checking my mail, or just randomly checking my phone. But I was not alone. If you look to your right or your left, the person right next to you and you, definitely one of you two, have been affected by Equifax. It was a data breach that happened about five years ago. It's a, an attack that took the Chinese hackers maybe like a few hours, but it ruined the lives of half of the American population beyond repair. Equifax paid about $7 billion so far in settlements. But that is absolutely nothing. When you compare it to the $6 trillion we lose to cyber criminals almost every year. $6 trillion happens to be bigger than the whole tech industry. It's also bigger than the whole food industry and the whole energy industry and a few multiples of the telecommunications industry. The worst thing is that this number is about to double in the next three years, making it one of the biggest industries known to human mankind throughout history. The reason why is actually our systems are less secure than they were about 40 or 50 years ago. And the reason why, well, think about it. Back then, we had a lot simpler networks and a lot fewer devices. Today, with all of these geniuses around us, we've got crypto, IoT, 5G, smart cities, metaverse, God knows what. And over the next, over the next like, few months, actually, our technology is bound to be more complicated with all of these amazing companies. But the thing is, although our technology is doubling in complexity every few months, our security is still bound to CCTV-like manual security analysis. And I did this job. So I can tell you that humans, no way, can go over a million data points a day. Not even 1% of that. And that is exactly why we created Sipienda. It's an AI. It's an AI that goes not over a million data points, it goes over a trillion data points a minute and is able to correlate the traces hackers leave behind in our systems and networks and is able to uncover attack campaigns. To put simply, you feed Sipienta boring tabular data like this. Immediately this data is correlated and it's actionable. You can uncover every single attack campaign. Not only that, it helps you stop it before the next Equifax ever happens again. The best part is you can share the attack details with other people around the globe to make sure that the attack cannot spread any further. And you can protect yourself and literally all of humanity from that attack. Sipienta is a very simple B2B software as a service. It can help every single cybersecurity team around the globe, from banks to governments to hospitals. A few years back, we won a six-figure demonstration contract to launch Sipienta on a real live 5G network in Canada's capital. And that gave us, thank you, and that gave us an enormous opportunity to learn and practice on real data. Right now, Oak Ridge is helping us with a lot of their brilliant scientists make our algorithms even more efficient for a more complicated future. And they're demoing our AI for their own cybersecurity. All of this would not be here if I hadn't had a great team to rely on. I'm the good looking lad over there, but these two people 
are some of the brightest people that I came across in my career. They happen to be my best friends, so my, I might be a little bit biased, but they led the defense sectors, they led the, the financial sector, and they led some of the biggest tech um, industries as well. Not only that, we actually lead a phenomenal team of engineers and scientists. And hands down, person to person, there has never been a better cybersecurity data science team in the entire history. All right, let's recap. Cybercrime is the biggest problem of this century. Criminals have evolved beyond measure, and it's time for us to evolve as well. And that is why I need you all to join me to prevent a future where our amazing technologies are completely overrun by criminals, militia, and foreign adversaries. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak with you today. Thank you very much. Great work, as All right, let's hop in. Jim, I'll have you go first. Sure, as a great presentation. I, I can't agree with you more on the challenge uh, of the problem that's facing us. Uh, my question is around how you differentiate uh, your company against all the security information and event management companies that are, have, are out there and have been out there for years and years and years. And, you know, with AI, with all the, the latest uh, technologies, uh, what, what are you doing that's qualitatively different than what they've been doing and are doing? That's a great question, Jim. <clears throat> Uh, I think the main the main difference is uh, they're focusing on incident detection. So they're trying to use AI to better detect malware in your systems. They're trying to use AI to better detect phishing in your systems. So they're kind of like a, a really good CCTV camera, but a really good CCTV camera that kind of has less blind spots and better coverage and 360 coverage and stuff like that still needs a security guard to be sitting in that room and looking at that camera along with the police report, along with another camera, along with whatever else. And that is what we're focusing on. We are not trying to compete with the likes of Dark Trace. We're not trying to compete with the likes of CrowdStrike. We're not trying to make a better antivirus or a better network security or a better email security. Um, we're trying to make a better correlation um, and investigation engine that essentially can look at all of these signals, look at all of this threat intelligence, and tell you, you know what? Well, here's the story. I put, I put uh, essentially two and two and connected dots uh, using that AI rather than just uh, find out about the malware. Thank you. Hey, yes, good to see you. Good presentation. Uh, my, my question is, uh, what is the threat detection error rate that you have in your AI and what is your process to improve it? So the threat detection rate, the threat detection error rate would be essentially how many slips. And we don't really have a lot of data on the slips because not a lot of people report their breaches. But uh, I'll take Equifax as an example. They use the best of the best in terms of tools. They use a, a really, really, really expensive product vendor called FireEye for pretty much everything. And they use a really, really, really expensive cybersecurity um, service provider called Mandiant for everything. Exactly like every other government department. Their spending on this department is just huge when it comes to cybersecurity. And even though that was the case, they got massively breached multiple times. The latest time was essentially what I featured in that pitch uh, was in 2017, where a lot of people got affected, actually half of the population. When we look at the report of why something like this happened, um, the reason is it was a slip up. It, the humans were unable to correlate all of these points. So we don't really have a lot of data on slip ups, but because um, we do engage a lot of research labs. We do have the metrics on essentially how security operators that we interviewed and we hired to kind of like give us a benchmark compete. And the competition is usually something between 65 to 50 NMI on, on the human part. NMI is like a, a joint of the sets that they are supposed to find. And our AI finds something between 80 to 95. So there's, there's almost like a... 150% kind of um, better coverage. But that is that is not just it, obviously. It's a matter of, I mean, humans will never be able to look at all the data points. So they always, even when they detect most of the stuff, they, they miss out a lot. And usually that little bit that they miss out can make all the difference. 
and they're also like super slow. So there is um, there's something called mean time to response, and that is usually weeks. With our AI, it takes minutes. So because you can you can stop it before the worst happens, and usually the worst happens within a matter of minutes. Okay, appreciate the detail, Thanks. Thanks, as all right. The next.